up in the Rule Fight Club with the big man, Akash the Bash Bartia. Akash is knocking out all heads. You know what I mean? May I say, like, we're coming up, Happy New Year. And and what's what's the future hold for you now? Well, New Year. Um, I'm looking forward to this year. It's going to be a big year. I've got a good feeling. It's going to be a big year. And it's going to be a year where I've really got, you know, I've got to impress. And I'm looking forward to challenging. You know? I'm looking forward to stepping up and challenging whoever's at the top. You know? So basically, I'm looking definitely to fight for the British title this year and whatever, whatever else. You know? so, yeah. yeah, definitely. Because they're, they're like, there, was, there was a lot of talk in the, in, the, in the beginning start when you started off like you being like the only active and seek boxer, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. Now do you, do you draw hobbies, does that give you extra strength or does it, is that more pressure? Um, I like pressure, you know, I, 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 tend to, I tend to perform under pressure but to be honest with you, it's not a real big pressure for me, you know, it's nice having support from obviously my Indian side but you know, End of the day, um, I'm on the English I'm going over here, so I, I'm looking. I'm coming from both sides, you know. So I'd say it's, it's not a pressure at all for me, but it's nice to, you know, be the first in doing something. So definitely, um, it inspires me more to become a, a, a better fighter. Yeah. So definitely, definitely inspires me more to become a champion. Right. So what name would you like? Not say we're calling out. You don't really need to call out anyone because, like, anybody saw your last fight against Mark Callahan, like. People will say, well, we're looking at your record, and I think, oh, you 11 and all at the time, 12 and 0, 12 and 0 but like, there weren't no real big knockouts on there. So, 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 would you like kind of waiting to think, well, you know, because looking at your record, you're fighting guys who are like light like world weights and stuff yeah, like that. You're I mean, a featherweight. Definitely, I think I couldn't have asked for a better start to my career. You know, I've had, I've had, I had 12 fights up to then, up, up until I fought for the Southern Hotel. And if you look at my record, I've been, you know, the heaviest guy. I come in was, was against a world weight, so you know I've been fighting bigger guys, and I've had the opportunity to learn, you know, learn, learn, learn my trade. So um, I, I wouldn't have asked for a better start uh, to my career. But as far as it goes to calling out people, I'm not really a, a caller out. You know, they're day I'm in the gym every day doing my work um, and just being the best boxer I can be. And whoever's whoever's at the top when I get to that when I get to that stage, I'm ready for whoever's at the top. You know, so. Right, so, so the, the, the British champion at this present moment, yeah? Yes. Um, we, we, saw him, we saw him fight and, um, and he, he boxed against a, a very good friend of mine, you know? Ishan um, Pickering, you know? He's a long time friend, we've known each other since amateur days. Mm -hmm. um, is Pickering next for the English subs? We're hearing a lot of talk. Do you think that's in fact Lawrence's plan now to put that fight up between you and Ishan Pickering? Because I think that would be a good fight, man. Yeah, I mean... Um, to be honest with you, I haven't really thought about it in terms of who I'm going to fight next. As you well know, Frank Maloney is my promoter. I let him do, do, do the promotion side of things and pick my opponent. And at uh, the end of the day, I'm just, I'll just get ready for the fight, whoever it may be. You know, I'm going to be ready for them, and that's all I can say. But obviously, he should be a good fight. And at the end of the day, he's a skills guy, he's a good mover. And um, it'll, it'll definitely be a good fight. But as far as if it's going to happen or not, that's a different you know what it's like in the boxing world, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm just getting ready for whoever, whoever it is, you know, so I'm just going to get back to, uh, obviously I'm training now, as usual, never out of the gym, and when it comes to it, I'll be ready, so definitely. So like, there's no one really on the radar, you just want to just get on and just fight, there's no one that you particularly like, or like, you know, because I, I, I yeah. all the time, there's no time, like, I sit down, I'm tired five years, but I still sit down and watch take boy. I'd love to fool that guy in my idea or whatever. So there must be somebody that you've looked at and you think, well, you'd like to you'd like to go in there and fool this guy or not. Um you know what? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. how can I say it? I, I don't want to be like ignorant about it or um, big headed about it, but I honestly feel I can beat anyone out there, so I honestly feel in myself, I feel confident that I could beat any of the guys out there. So Bring whoever, in. whoever, whoever Whoever they do. Wait there, wait there. Can, can we just tell that loud mouth black boy in the corner to just be quiet? You know what I mean? See, yeah, like, Baba Tony and Jai, your trainer. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, in this country we're getting knocked out. <laughs> wait there, can we just say that again? Quickly, come here, come, come, come over here. So, you know what I mean? See, there's like, you can't hold the camera about you trying to put your black face in it. <laughs> 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 right, say that again, please, sir. No, I'm just saying, domestically, you know, I've never been one to boast about what my fighters can do. But you just did! But, listen, there's a simple bit of things I said, but I've trained cash from day one and looking at the current featherweights, you know, you've got um, Paul Trascott, Commonwealth champion. The last person to beat Paul Trascott was Akash. 
You've got Paul Appleby. That was in the amateur. Yeah. That was in the amateur. Right. His last amateur fight. Right. Also, Cash is well, second to last amateur fight. Right. You've got Paul Appleby, who just fought Ethan Pickering. Yeah. Now, we're going to show you what you're supposed to do to each what a featherweight is supposed to do to Ethan Pickering at this this stage of Ethan Pickering's career. We've asked for that fight for the English title, and you will see. And then you have Martin Lindsay, very good technical fighter. But this is the man, right? This right. is the man. He'll take any any featherweight out. When we, what, to be honest with you, we've never been a, uh, a group, or me and Cash have never looked before, further than our station. So what we're doing, southern area first. We've collected that English next. We're going to collect that Eastern Pickering. You're the man. And then after, whoever wins out of Appleby and Lindsay, I think it is, right. will fight the winner. All right. Uh, thank you guys. Get out of the camera shop now. Yeah, no, I just, I, I, like, fine. How, how important is it? Because like, I've seen Come a few on, battles. You've got, you got males, you've got females, you've got amateurs, yeah. you've got pros. You know I mean, how, how, how important is that to you that you've got that, that group and like, I've got that little auto hail or something. How important is that you've got that little group that little family? It's, it's nice. It's nice having a nice camp, you know. And they, they, you know when you've got competitiveness in the camp, it brings everybody on. You know, we've got Tony Salem, who's a brilliant oh, fighter, yeah. you know, awesome not fighter. That, not that. And uh, you know, we've got the likes, little Otto coming up, Joe coming up. You know, we also train with the Welsh brothers. So it's nice to have a good, good camp. Everyone's happy, everyone trains hard, everyone wants to beat everybody, it's competitive. I think you need that competitiveness yeah. within What about camp. the females? I've seen a couple of females. Females, definitely, the camp as well, you know, like this is, this is a, that, you know? definitely, you know. We're, we're, We've got Ruth, she's a brilliant boxer at the end of the day, and uh, it's just, you know, anyone who wants to come and they're real serious about training, serious about training, because we know I had a lot of clowns in the day come and then they can't handle it after a couple of weeks and they bounce, they go. So, you know, it's, it's nice when you've got serious people around you, everyone wants to do well. And, you know, as I said, little Otto there, you know, he's young, he's learning, he's coming up, he's watching the likes of me and Tony, and, you know, it's nice being, inspired, like, being able to be an inspiration to these kids at the end of the day. Um, if I can help anyone in the slightest, you know, I've done my. I've done um, my no, bit. no, that I can just got to say Happy New Year again to you, brother. Happy New Year. And uh, <laughs> big up, and thanks for coming to do Thank you very thanks much. Thanks for being out of the Real Fight Club. Wicked. Wicked.